Everybody is looking for the secret to true success by Cool Life Africa's richest man, Aliko Dangote, has a surprising answer. Dangote recently revealed that despite his immense wealth, he doesn't own a home outside Nigeria. This billionaire, famous for his cement empire and diverse ventures, emphasized his deep commitment to his roots. The 66-year-old businessman made his fortune in cement and sugar, and last year opened an oil refinery in Nigeria's economic hub, Lagos. The industrialist made the disclosure while speaking to journalists at the Dangote Petroleum Refinery on Sunday. His comments surprised many in a country where the rich elite have a reputation for their opulent lifestyles. Many wealthy Nigerians own houses in London, Dubai, and Atlanta. During an interview at the Islamic Development Bank Group's annual meetings in Sharm El Sheikh, Dangote spoke passionately about the importance of supporting one's homeland. His comments have elicited a wide reaction on social media, with some saying it is a wise business decision as it is cheaper to pay rent than to buy a house. For Mr. Dangote, the reason is simply because he wants to see Nigeria grow. The reason I don't have a London or America house is solely because I wanted to focus on industrialization in Nigeria, he said. I am very passionate about the Nigeria dream and apart from my Lagos house, I have another one in my home state, Kano, and a rented one in Abuja. If I have houses all over in America and Co., I would not be able to concentrate and build something for my people. Mr. Dangote is known to own an opulent residence in Lagos's popular Banana Island, where many high-profile Nigerians also have mansions. His house in his home state of Kano is a modest one, and was used to receive his guests following the death of his brother Sani Dangote in 2021. Public affairs analyst Sani Bala said Mr. Dangote was setting a very good example. Nigerians need to be reoriented to understand owning several mansions is not an achievement when the money would be needed elsewhere. Dangote said he sold his house in London in 1996, and I'm sure monies realized from the sale was put back in his business, that is the way to go. He expressed his pride in being Nigerian and highlighted the need for successful individuals to contribute to their nation's growth. Dangote's actions speak just as loudly as his words. From cement production to oil refining and agriculture, his substantial investments within Nigeria reflect his dedication to the country's potential. His message is clear. Success isn't just about personal wealth, but about lifting up your community. Aliko Dangote's story is a powerful reminder that true wealth lies not in foreign mansions, but in the prosperity of one's own homeland. Stay tuned for more inspiring stories from around the world. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. From Cool Life TV, Perth, Australia, bye for more.